before I get to Hi-Fi Rush, I want you to understand the amount of stress that I've been going through trying to get this game. So, my friend Arashi, he paid me to get Hi-Fi Rush and try it out. And I was like, you know what, that's fine. I didn't have any problem with it. And initially this month, I was going to do that. However, early in this month, there was apparently a transaction in my account, my bank account, from PayPal that ended up overdrafting me. And apparently this, whatever they paid took money whatever they took money out of my account for it apparently was a subscription for a vpn soft for a vpn service from the past now i for full context i bought like uh or i i paid for a membership for like uh like vpn service like a couple of years ago honestly back in like 2021 and this was back when i was like working a full-time job and everything and making money i'm not doing that anymore and all that money's pretty much dried up. So it was like back then, like it's just like, I canceled that membership a long time ago. And I didn't think much of it. But apparently, this month, a chunk of money, not the whole amount, but a chunk of money was taken out enough to overdraft my account. And I had to look on PayPal in terms of what, what they possibly took. And I see just this, this statement, this transaction where they were just paying Avast for it. And I was like, so I contact Avast. I was like, hey, uh, I don't, I, I, I didn't intend to pay for this. This is a mistake. Please, I want a refund. And I really don't want to talk about that because it was like, it was a guilt trippy call and everything. It was just like, oh, we're, we're sorry to hear that. Well, if you'd like, we could uh, give you a uh, 50% off on the membership or anything. I was like, no, I don't have the money to do that. I, I literally, I just, I want my refund. And it was just like, oh, well, we're sorry to hear that. That's sad to hear. That's disappointing to hear. I was like, I don't care. I don't care if it's disappointing to hear. I have no money. I'm broke. So I was like, I, I cancel it. I want a refund. I'm like, all right, refund. And this was about like more than a week ago. So I see the statement, I see the email. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it'll take like a week, but they said like five to seven business days. So I'm thinking maybe they're going on Monday through Friday and disregarding the weekends. Sure, whatever. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I still have not seen that money and it's been well over a week. And at this point it's been seven business days. So I call them up, I was like, hey, I see, hey guys, I, I got your email. I see that you guys were refunding the money, but I have yet to receive anything in my account. I have not received a singular penny. I've not received a singular cent. I've received nothing and I still don't have the money. And so they checked and everything. And I was like, well, we returned, we returned the money on our end. So if there's a problem, you're going to have to contact PayPal. I'm like, okay, fine. Thank you. So that was over. I imagine it's just like, all right. So essentially they, I, I, they did what they could ultimately. So now I have to contact PayPal. So I contact PayPal. I'm like, Hey, uh, in regards to this transaction, uh, I, you, uh, apparently money went through my account and I just want to get it back. And they tell me, and by the way, I'm heading to the hospital, like on the way over for my annual. So it was just like, this was literally just like, I, I was just kind of stressing over when I'm going to get that money. So they take a bit. And this is around the time when I'm already like hooked up to an IV and just in, in bed. Like I am already kind of medicated. They message me. It's like, hey, so we checked that refunded everything so the story about that behind it is actually that was all of our money that we did in place of you so we're not going to give you a refund on that that money belongs to us 
I was too out of it to really say anything, but I was disappointed at the time. A day passes and I'm just like, I'm tired and everything. And then today, I contact them saying, hey, um, I have this statement saying that you guys took about 30 bucks out of my account. I contacted Avast, I contacted you guys. I've gotten, I've heard nothing back in terms of when I'm gonna get that money back. I don't care about the full refund and everything in regards to Avast. I just want the money you guys took from my account and overdrafted me for back. I sent that complaint to them t just earlier today and they were like, all right, you're gonna have to wait about 45 days or less to get anything, any word back. I'm like, great, wonderful. And it's just like, now it's just a whole way to get now. I do want to hold off on going off about PayPal or Vest or anything just in case on the off chance that they do return the money. But if I don't actually get that money, you can bet that I will absolutely vent about it and I ain't talking about Among Us. <sighs> okay. In the grand scheme of things, I really, really was trying to be optimistic about this. Because I didn't want to make this video, really. Because I thought that if I was just going to outright do it, all of a sudden, this problem would get resolved, and all of a sudden, I'd be the asshole. Didn't want for things to get to this point, but they have. So, pretty much in the video that I just showed, you already know the context. Ultimately, the money that was used to pay for that subscription was theirs, that was out of their pocket. They weren't entirely wrong because I didn't have a hundred bucks to spare. So I understood that. And they, under and they said that, yeah, the refund ultimately comes towards us because we paid for it ourselves. So I understood that, except for one teeny tiny thing. The money that was taken out of my account was paid in partially, at least, for that subscription. So I was a little peeved. I ultimately contacted them again, saying, hey, there is an unregistered, there's an unauthorized charge on my bank account with your guys' name on it. You t pay I talked to them, I said, PayPal took money from my bank account without my knowledge. I said the amount, which was $30, by the way, and the title of it on my bank statement was R-E-T-C-H-G PayPal I-N-S-T-X-F-E-R. December 8th, 2023. Now, at this time, I wasn't exactly sure what that was, but considering that this was the same day that correlated to the amount that Avast was charging on my account, I came to the logical conclusion that they took $30 out of my account in order to try and pay for this subscription that I was no longer paying for and I canceled and I had to cancel again after two years. So I came to that conclusion. They wanted to know some more information. I left them a note saying, my bank account has an amount of $30, $30 by the way, I just want to reiterate that, taken out of it during an unauthorized payment to Avast Software for $108.86. And I have not had the $30 that was taken out of my account refunded. I spoke to Avast. They have canceled the payment of $108.86 they wanted from me, but I still do not have the $30 that PayPal took 
out of my account. And I would very much like it back. Honestly, as angry as I was at the time, I look back and I think, you know, I handled this civilly. I tried to be a big per I tried to be a bigger person. I tried to handle this decently, and I laid out and clear without really trying to be passive aggressive or anything. I tried my damnedest to state that I was robbed and I want my money back. They pretty much tell me like Yep, all right, you can submit this case. I submitted it, and they said, yep, uh, your case has been filed. We'll get back to you by January 1st, 2024. And they say, I'll receive email and details and whatnot. And I received, in that time, two emails. There is a case update from December 22nd, which is about uh, 11 or 12 days away from a month from now. Case update saying, if the seller cancels the authorization, we may recover the refunds issued from your PayPal account. We've determined the activities in question on your account are unauthorized. For more information and to see the status of your case, log into your PayPal account and go to the resolution sensor. Now, I like to believe that I'm a patient person. I was more than willing to wait for New Year's Day to come. And even then, I was more than willing to wait for the allotted. They pretty much told me, you'll get a response in 45 days or less. I was more than willing to wait for the allotted 45 days. But since that message, which, by the way, mind you, it was December 22nd, 2023. Since that message, I had yet to receive any further email or update on that case. Didn't know what to think about that. So, just, I didn't want to jump the gun. I just wanted to get more of an understanding of where that case was. So, I just contacted them earlier today. I asked them about the case and pretty much said the case was closed in my favor. Now that, that sounds nice, doesn't it? It was closed in my favor, it was resolved. Except for one teeny tiny little thing. The 30 bucks. The 30 bucks. That's taken out of my account? NEVER CAME BACK! So... I... just wanted to get some outside opinions on this. I contacted some friends of mine, showed them what I saw, and they pretty much all agreed, yeah, you're not getting that money back. So, to reiterate, they overdrafted my account. They paid for a service on my behalf that I canceled two years ago and had to cancel again. They refused to return the money taken from my account. The money, of course, being the colossal amount of $30. And that money also, mind you, not initially being mine. It was given to me on Ko-Fi in exchange for the promise of playing a game. And half of that money ultimately went to paying for my overdraft. A problem in which if I had gotten that $30 back, I would have had more than enough to pay for the game and I wouldn't be in this situation. But that mistake ultimately, I guess that was my mistake, because ultimately that money not being mine, at the end of the day, I guess it just made me potentially look like I was someone who makes all these grandiose promises to do in 
exchange for money. And then I decide ultimately to run off with said money. To make thing to make a long story short, this situation made me look like I scammed somebody. And instead of just fixing the mistake, instead of me having to make this video, instead of just fixing their mistake and instead of having me have to go to the trouble of making this entire fucking video, they double down, refused to be more, burned the money in my face, and pretty much gave me the middle finger. I just want to reiterate too, that money that was taken out of my account was a grand total of $30. Do you have any idea how fucking petty this looks on both sides of the whole ordeal? On one hand, my side, I'm bitching about $30 being stolen. But on the other hand, you have a multi-million dollar corporation like fucking PayPal holding on to the money! $30! Instead of just fixing it, just giving me my money back, they doubled down and told me to go fuck myself. Do you understand why I, out of all of this, just didn't want to make this video? You understand my fucking aggravation, my fucking MOLDING OVER THIS! And do you understand? Why it, to me, seems like a simple matter to fix for a company like this! So that I don't have to make this video, and so I don't have to get FUCKING PISSED OFF LIKE I'M GOING INSANE! So in response to this whole ordeal, I have removed PayPal off of services that I pay money for and receive money from. I wanted to avoid doing this from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt, be an optimist, and think, it's just $30. They'll just give me the money back, and I can be on my way. I wouldn't have to bring this up again. But I say this, considering that the worst case scenario has happened. With all Disrespect. Those cunts can go fuck themselves.